guys and welcome back to my channel now first of all i just want to address the elephant in the room i'm tanned i'm definitely very very tanned i just got back from thailand two days back like 18th night is when i got back today is the 20th i'm actually gonna sit down and film this video the day you're watching this so it's very much real time but uh, yes i was at the beach for an entire day and even apart from that we spent so much time outdoors that even if I had applied my sunscreen religiously, which I did. I still ended up getting tanned, so my face was tanned, but I did makeup. So um, the color of my neck and like my hands is what is actually my color right now, whereas my face looks a little bit whitewashed right now. Very very sorry about that, but I just wanted to address that before anyone comments that oh you're trying to look fair in your videos. No, I'm not trying to look fair. I'm just tanned, and my makeup products don't match my tan shade, so that's the reason I'm a little bit whitewashed. I'm sorry for that. It's not intentional. I would never actually end up doing that, but this is just what it is, and hopefully the tan will fade away in a couple of days. I'm obviously working on it, so that's that. But any which ways, in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about my Aqua Logica body lotions. Now they did launch body creams as well recently which i am not really sure if i will try out or if i won't i'm still on the fence about that but um i did try out all the body lotions so we have four variants let me show them to you we have four variants in total we have the radiance we have the glow we have the clear and we have the hydrate so um i got all of these a couple of weeks back and i was so excited to try them out it's also the perfect time of the year to try them out because it's winters and i'm slathering body lotion all over myself twice in a day so i actually got a chance to try all of these pretty quickly after i got them that to be doesn't always happen but this time it did happen so i was like you know what let me just do this video and share with you kind of compare them because if you are also looking at purchasing them i feel like i can probably share with you some insights as to what they feel like what they smell like what the experience is like how quickly they absorb into the skin and all of that stuff so yes i've used all of these a couple of times to kind of make sure that my opinion is as like true as possible uh and i'm going to be talking majorly about the scent of these as well as the consistency and how fast they get absorbed into the skin i think that's what kind of like differentiates these four from each other apart from that of course they have the ingredient highlights like the glow one has papaya and vitamin c the radiance one has um watermelon and niacinamide the clear one has a green tea and salicylic acid whereas the hydrate one has coconut water and hyaluronic acid but if i have to be completely honest none of the active ingredients like this does not feel to like a salicylic acid body lotion to me this does not feel like a niacinamide body lotion to me like this is not something you could compare to like chemistet play or even dermaco for that matter where they have like targeted body moisturizers for specific skin concerns i wouldn't compare these to those because i don't feel like the concentration of the active ingredient is high enough in these to um, actually give you those benefits so that's something that it's just my personal opinion keep it in mind i'm not going to talk about these ingredients uh because i don't really feel like it's it's doing much so any which ways now let's jump right into it and let's talk about my favorites and least favorites from aqua logica i'm going to go in the order of my favorite to my least favorite um out of all of these so starting with my favorite body lotion out of aqua logica definitely has to be the clear silky body lotion now this particular one i have pretty much i'm sure used the most uh there were two that i took with me to thailand also when i was going i took the radiance one and i took the clear one i didn't actually end up using the radiance one that much but what i was using the entire time was the clear one because my favorite thing about this is the consistency the fact that it is not a lightweight gel body lotion it is a cream consistency that is still uh, getting absorbed pretty damn quickly into the skin so it's not going to feel super sticky or super greasy of course you're going to have to wait maybe like 5ish minutes or so which is typically pretty normal for me because when i'm dressing up and the way i'm dressing up i'll do my skincare first then i'll slather on body lotion then i will like finish up you know start dressing up and then eventually by the time i am down to like putting on my clothes by that time this body lotion has completely gotten absorbed into the skin so 
this is probably going to be like my favorite out of all the other ones and what i also like about this is that it doesn't have a strong scent i feel like some of the others have a strong scent which could be off putting sometimes sometimes you can like look past it this one doesn't have a specific scent to it which i actually do like i'm not saying that this is like fragrance free or it has no scent to it but it's not a strong scent it's just like yeah you're putting on something and you know there is that like very 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 faint almost nothing wala smell so um for that reason i do actually find this to be like easy to use because the scent is not going to clash it's not going to be off putting at all or anything like that so this definitely has to be my favorite aqua logica body lotion moving on next to my second favorite again like i mentioned it's the radiance one because um obviously if i have four and i'm taking two out of those four to um thailand with me that is because those two are my favorites so the radiance one per se is my favorite because this is more so something that if your skin is super duper dry and uh you just you just need something like typically i would make sure to never skip a body lotion but there are just times where you are super duper busy you don't have time to uh maybe do that maybe you have to get ready within like 5 minutes um there have been times where i have skipped body lotion even in the winters and then my skin just it just becomes very itchy very dry very uncomfortable and during times like those if i really want my skin to recover if i need something that's just going to help my skin so if you have super duper dry skin very very scaly um kind of dry skin i feel like this is going to be more like appropriate for you because this one is going to be more moisturizing on your skin so this one is a little bit more thicker and heavier might take a little bit longer to get absorbed into the skin but i feel like it's worth it because of how moisturizing it is and it has this really pleasant um like watermelon scent to it um like the all the other products in the range have so if you have smelled any of them it's basically the same scent it's not that different so um yeah it's got a pleasant smell it's a little bit more heavy on the skin but if that's what you're looking for i feel like you're really really going to love this one so in case you have more dry skin and i believe they also market that very clearly that this is meant for very dry skin so i think that's very very appropriate and definitely if you have very dry skin then definitely check out the radiance um, body lotion moving on next up uh, to the other two it's pretty clear that the other two i don't really love as much as i love these two so it's time to tell you which one i love a little bit more than the other so uh, we have the glow plus which i definitely prefer a little bit more as compared to the hydrate and i'll tell you why so um the glow one um has this slightly i mean i'm i'm personally not a fan of the scent i don't know if other people are but it's got this very strong fruity but slightly again we are like i guess it's the papaya uh, i i don't really know but the scent of this particular product is not really my favorite that being said the actual lotion per se is what i'm currently wearing all over my body of course under my clothes because this is what i put on this morning and what i really love about it is that it's got a more um easy to absorb consistency i wouldn't call it super lightweight i wouldn't call it super heavy i feel like it's something in between both of them but again in the winters this is something that i would like to use i would definitely not use it otherwise like throughout the year for sure i don't think this would work but otherwise uh, in the winters when my skin like even this morning my skin was feeling super duper dry so i took some of this on and i just slathered it all over myself and it feels good so um that's something that i do like about this i would kind of say that it is between these two in terms of like least moisturizing to most moisturizing it's it's in between so take that with a grain of salt but just keep the fragrance in mind if you are someone who does like if you're very specific in terms of your scents i would say that be a little bit wary of this one apart from that i think everyone will really like it because it's that in between moisturizer and that tells you clearly that last but not the least my least favorite out of all the aqua logica body lotions has to be the hydrate one now this one i was hoping is going to be my favorite but it ended up being my least favorite because first of all this has a very weird um you know consistency which doesn't get absorbed easily 
into the skin it's got this um how do you say it's like a white paste essentially that you have to do so much to get it to absorb into your skin i don't know what ingredient they put in your which is not there in any of the other ones but there is something in your that just does not let the product get absorbed into the skin you have to keep massaging it for like 15 20 minutes almost for it to get completely absorbed into the skin and um, it's also supposed to be again meant for normal skin it's not like meant for super duper dry skin like sometimes there are certain moisturizers for super duper dry skin that don't get very absorbed like don't get absorbed very easily into the skin and that i understand with this one i just don't understand why it's this difficult um i do really like the fact that again this one also has no scent to it similar to this one but because of how different they are in terms of their absorption and how difficult this one is to get absorbed as compared to this i would personally skip on this one i wish i hadn't bought it i'm also planning on decluttering this one and giving it to my mother she can probably use this um if she would again i like it i told her that so and so is the deal with this one so that's why i'm planning on decluttering it and <laughs> she just laughed at me she was like okay fine um so yeah those are my thoughts on all of them these three uh from my side i will continue using this one definitely um i will figure out if i want to repurchase or not it's not like my absolute absolute favorite body lotion ever but out of the apple logica ones i will definitely say that this one stands out out of these four and then of course these two also i will continue to use as and when i feel like it's appropriate depending on the season depending on the way my skin feels and all that stuff so yeah these three i will be keeping in my collection and i will continue to use them whereas this one unfortunately is going to be getting decluttered so yeah those are my thoughts on all the aquologica body lotions i really 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 hope that you found this helpful if you have any further questions or if you feel like there's anything that i did not cover that i should have then please let me know down below just want to quickly mention the prices of all of these they're all 399 rupees for um, how much ml is this for 300 ml of product the bottles when you see them do look a little small but um, it says they've got 300 ml and it's a pretty fat shabby bottle as well so um yeah it's a good price again even though they uh, the price is 399 i i feel like you never need to pay that much money you can easily get them for like 199 200 bucks because you can always find these on like buy one get one or buy two get two i'm pretty sure i bought them when the buy two get two offer was um going on so yeah don't ever feel like you need to spend full um uh, like the full amount on these you can definitely definitely get some offers and discounts but um uh, yeah that's going to be it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys i really wanted to share this with you and i really hope that it was helpful as well we're on day 20 of this month and at this point i've this is like the 20th video i'm posting in the month of december and there are 11 more to come um if you did not know this already i am doing vlogmas which means i will be posting a new video every single day so um yeah in case you're interested in that please keep watching subscribe to my channel if you haven't already click on the notification bell because that way you'll get to know every single time i post a new video that's going to be it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys until next time bye bye bye